Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Macaroni Checker Blind Let's Play. Let's, let's, last time you guys off, we uh, dealt with the BBC, or the BC, not the BBC, <laughs> news at four. Who killed who? John Will Spoof. I don't, I don't even know. Last time I took guys off, we uh, got the sword repaired, so I think we're going to go and deal with Krug now. We need to figure out where Meredith is. I think it's where I need to go. Mendina Village. Mr. Mountain. I gotta remember, like, where the, uh... It's not true the canyon, is it? <laughs> this might be it. Seriously? Well, lightning, rocket punch. That's a terrible auto sniffing. <laughs> I'll probably be doing that this entire episode. My nose is just stuffed. Stuffed. My nose is a stump, yeah. My nose is just stuffed right now. Mucus and all. Now, if I remember correctly, what I want to do is... Curse Woods. No, you don't. Running! Okay, I missed a rare enemy. That I really care about that much. I already fought one before. You come again? The sword. No, it could not. It could not be. The Masamune? I must ponder these turn events. You are may you may remain here for the night. Oh great. Really? Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaimed the badge from the Frog King. And I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean Lean and I need you as well. See that you return. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall come what may. Come what may, I guess was me. Well then, buy or leave. I didn't know we were going to have to fight Cyrus. Oh, this isn't good. He's supposed to be the badass knight. Sir Cyrus! On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and godspeed. My brothers. You know what I just noticed? I can barely see his face. Is that on purpose? I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. I'm starting to wonder about Cyrus. Maybe he's not who we who we think he is. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Who's the guy? Hello, Glenn. You be careful too. Who the hell is Glenn? Be well, Your Majesty. Who the hell is Glenn? Don't fade away! Who the hell is Glenn? Okay?
What in the world's happening right now? So, you see the hero's badge, the knight of the, knight of the kingdom of men? Come and take it then. You can, croak. That's what I mean to do. Nirvana strike. Filthy badge. Do not think I forget. I'll forget this. The Frog King, huh? I thought they were talking about Frog for a minute. Watch out. The Masamune. Whoa, who's that guy? Gaha, that's the best you can do? With your sword, you're nothing. Watch your sword, you're nothing. They're not best of me yet. Cyrus, I'm done for. Wait a minute. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance. No. No, wait a minute. It is dawn on me. No. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Is Cyrus? Is Cyrus Frog? Oh my god. <laughs> wait a minute. No, I gotta, I gotta go through this. No. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance to escape. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I know I'm freaking out for no good reason, but I, I, I would have never thought that playing this. Oh my goodness! Stay, and they'll kill us both. Go, Glenn. Hadn't you better, hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you, the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go. Cyrus! Run. Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Jesus! Okay, maybe he's not. Maybe Cyrus isn't, um, Frog. What's the matter? Are you not gonna try your luck? Can you give him more fitting form? Oh, Glenn is frog. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength, Osiris? Well, I was wrong. My freak out was wrong, but... I'll wake in Chrono. <laughs> well, I should have guessed that Glenn was frog, considering he had green hair. That was probably the... That was probably the, um... That was probably, uh... The hint that Glenn was frog. I I guess that it was Glenn. Gre I mean, I, I guess it was Cyrus being it wrong. But you can't blame me for that one. Cyrus had Masamune and the hero's badge. I'm so mad it wasn't Glenn. I, I'm so mad that it wasn't Cyrus. It was frog though. I was actually so excited. Like we we actually have Cyrus on our side, but. We have somebody who actually knew Cyrus, so, eh. I don't know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to, to the test. Let us go to Magnus's, Magnus's keep. His strength is no small thing. Do you understand the odds we face? We must do it for the future. <coughs> oh, Frog's mandatory. Uh, see here. Well, Luca was with us when we first got frogs, so. Bro, I don't got many healing items. I mean, I kind of like to use healing from a. Uh... You know what? Yeah. Well. 
That was some interesting backstory. I was wondering if Frog was just a humanoid frog, or actually he was a human turned into a frog. I'm kind of glad that my, uh, my presumption was right that, you know, he was a human that was turned into a frog. Oh, you gotta be kidding me with that one. Okay. Frog of Masamune. This is actually pretty cool. Slurp. Slash. That was weird. I didn't kill them. Oh, cool, Frog got some of his, got some of his text. Okay, well, that's kind of magic right there. <laughs> so that means I guess we got, to, we got to go back to BC at some point again to recruit uh, Cave Woman. I, at least I think. I don't really know how many actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, recruitable characters are in this game. But that's kind of the magic of this game, finding out who you can and cannot recruit. <laughs> I actually wonder about something. I wonder if I can open these up now. I wonder where Magus' cave is, because I don't know where that is. I haven't even stumbled upon it before. <sighs> See, I think we get to go. I do, we do gotta go back to like uh, BC because like there was that was that cliff that I ran into that had nothing to do with anything. Huh. Stop that. Oh no, it's Cyrus. Oh, he had a... Oh, he was a childhood friend of his? Thank you, Cyrus. Glenn, there are times when, you, when a man must stand and face that the things that trouble him. But it hurts to be hit. I cannot hurt another. Not, not even them. You're too soft, Glenn. Wow, there's just a lot of story that I... How have I not discovered this gym before? Glenn, I've decided to join the knighthood. <laughs> I thought as much. You'd be a fine knight, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? I, I cannot. But why? You're a better sword than I. You've always been. You always have been. Oh wait a minute. He's a. Oh, he's good at. He's good at using swords. Oh, I didn't know that. Guess that would explain why Frog was OP when you first met him. I haven't the nerve it, it takes to be a knight in a real battle. The fear would take me. Wow, I didn't know Cyrus was going to be that much of an important character uh, in the grand scheme of things. I guess he's a motivation for Glenn the Frog, which now we got a name for him now. It's not a Frog anymore, it's Glenn. There he is. The Frog Man. Oh, wait a minute, it looks familiar. Oh, that explains how he got the hero's badge. 
I was wondering where it went. Cause it get, I thought it got burnt out when Cyrus got burnt. Was another reason why I thought Cyrus was the frog. I'm just a little bit interested in why Cyrus burnt though, because why wasn't there a body? Like there should have been some ash. I wonder if Cyrus is even dead. The badge, the hills badge. <laughs> You got me wondering now, is Cyrus even really dead? Because he just disappeared. Like, it wasn't like there was an ash behind. Granted, 2D... I'm asking too much for a 2D game back when it was released in the 2000s. So... Still, I kind of wonder if Cyrus is actually dead. If he actually is dead, let me know. If he isn't, don't say anything. Actually, that's, that's spoiler. No, don't, don't say anything. Man. Don't say anything to me, because that's going to spoil regardless. I just like, keep on thinking that Cyrus isn't dead until I find out he really is dead. Musa Mooney, if you please. Wait, I thought he had it on him. So the Musa Mooney has something to do with the magic cave, eh? Or the magic area. Ha! My name is Glenn. Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now I bear the Musa Mooney as well. Henceforth, I claim them as my own. I shall slay the Fiend Lord Magus and restore your honor. Oh, crap! Shut up now. Cutscene. Okay, that was awesome. Okay. What in my... Okay. That was so worth the pain that it took me to record and get this far. What the heck? You know, I'm glad that I, I avoided this game for so long, because I honestly don't think I would have been able to appreciate the majesty that this game even has. You know, I mean, it took me forever to get to this point, to be able to play the game, and I'm glad I finally got a chance to experience it on YouTube. Oh, I, that was awesome. Oh god, I think, I, I think I've had too much awesome for this one episode, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> I know it's a pansy way out. But I, I gotta cut it here. I, uh... I gotta take some time to take in what I just saw. <laughs> the, 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 the story about, about alone is amazing. I'm surprised that none of this has been spoiled for me on the internet before. I mean, I've heard so many good things about this game, but my goodness. Um, see you guys next episode. We'll continue through the cave and I guess deal with Magus. Or see what he's like, because I don't think we're going to deal with Magus here. I feel like Magus has something to do with the final boss of the game, so... Uh, whatever. See you guys, then! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Team Gato.